Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey folks, Steve Stack, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwood, Studio 3B with another edition of American Hardwood Advisor. I'm joined this morning with the third generation Baird, Mr. Zach Baird. Welcome, Zach. Yeah, thanks for having You're me. You're in the hot seat today, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. I hope we can have as much fun as we did last week. Yeah, that'll be hard to beat, but we'll do our best. Right? We went, we went on your first Baird excursion. Uh, we traveled, where'd we go? We went out to Hyannis, Nebraska. We we're doing a new project with the Outdoor Channel, new TV show we, they have coming out called The Renovation Hunters. So we got to go out there and check that out for the first project. We were in the middle of nowhere. I think we were a little bit past the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, so uh, folks, this was a great trip. We, we, went, uh, we flew to Denver. Uh, we were joined by a couple of our partners from Ice Energy. And uh, we drove for four hours through cattle, uh, sagebrush, and uh, a lot of lakes and from the farm country to the sand hills. And, and we wound up in this great little town of 152 residents called Hyenas and a great, uh, great old house. What I, what they say the house was 118 years old. I so, believe so. Right. <clears throat> and, uh, we got to meet some new friends. Who'd we meet while we were out there? Uh, so when we first got out there, we got to go to the project, check it out to, to get going. And uh, they had uh, Hal Schaefer, he'll be hosting the show. Uh, Chris, he's also uh, a partner on the Renovation Hunters and Kevin. And then they had about eight makers from across the country that uh, were there to help get the project done in eight days, which was quite the tall task considering all the challenges they had to face. Yeah, you know, we, <clears throat> when, when this opportunity was, presented to us, the renovation hunters, uh, their approach to this, these projects, uh, there's going to be a couple more projects, uh, two more, two more houses or cabins or lake houses or whatever they end up being. But the, the whole premise of renovation hunters similar to Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, and you're the ideal representation of that today, being third generation, and your involvement in the company now. Uh, but they want to see families, like the Baird family, they want to see these families pass on the tradition of family, hunting, fishing, getting together and hanging out if it's out at a little lake house and passing those traditions on to future generations. So we looked at it and we thought, wow, this is kind of a parallel mindset to the Baird family. And, and uh, you know, some of the, some of the traditions of, of uh, we've, we've got a couple folks, yourself included, uh, that enjoy the outdoors and hunting, uh, you know, Hatch and Hatch and Terry, you know, first generation, second generation, they go on a trip every uh, every fall. Where do they go out to? Uh, they head out to just nor northwest of Bozeman, Montana. They go out and, and chase some elk, and they've been quite successful over the years. So that's <clears throat> it, been pretty cool to see. And 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 that's it is cool to see. It, you know, um, again and and. Terry has, Terry has children. Terry hunts with them back here, you know, around the mill here in Canfield, Ohio. And, and, uh, and it's a good thing. You, you know it, you and, and your brother Benny, right? Uh, you guys spend some time in the woods together. You went on a trip last fall. 
Yeah, Benny and I went out on our first uh, Western elk hunt. So we were out in uh, Colorado, just uh, west of Montrose. So that was our first excursion on the Western hunt. So it was a good time. I do, I do some upland bird hunting. I enjoy it. Uh, my kids, my kids came into it. Uh, you know, we we we've had we're on our fourth bird dog now, and and how do I the the time you spend? You didn't come back with an elk this year, no. But you have how many crazy memories of while you guys were out there? Oh yeah, the clarity you get while you're on the hunt and just being out in nature and getting to explore different countries, just unparalleled experience. And then with that, you know, the, some of the better memories come actually from back at camp when you're hanging out with, with all the guys, chalking up how the day went and, you know, you, you get some good laughs, you know, bust each other a little bit on who messed up a few opportunities, who did some things right. And that's where I think the, the renovation hunters project's really neat because a lot of those memories are formed back at camp. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I've I've had the fortune of having four generations of my family up in uh, uh, Valdor, Quebec, on fishing trips. You know how cool is that to be with your great uncle, your uncle, myself, my son, and yes, the stories that are generated out of that cabin, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're they're priceless. You know, and, and, and when we get together today, even though we're not fishing together or hunting together and this and that, and we start, ha we, we start sharing them stories and you hear, you hear somebody say, hey, Uncle Paul, do you remember when you did whatever, whatever? And, and, and again, it's laughter. Oh, no doubt about it. You know what they say, a bad day in the woods is still better than a day at the office. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And, you know, that's, that's, it goes back to family and tradition and, and, uh, it's just great experiences, and and when when we were driving uh, from Alliance to Hyannis, Nebraska, we we were I was driving, you were spotting. And what I mean, what all did we see wildlife wise? Oh man, I don't even know. A couple hundred whitetail, mule deer. It seemed like along the way, a handful of antelope, some uh, pheasants, which was a pleasant sight because we don't have any of those running around wild anymore around here. And then, uh, you know, we also crossed a few turkeys yeah. trotting out in the fields. Yeah, and and the thing that that took me was the uh, the waterfowl. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> completely slipped my mind. Thousands. You know, we <laughs> we'd be driving along and we'd we'd come across whether it was a half acre pond or a two acre lake, and there'd be thousands of birds. Thousands of birds. Oh yeah, a ton of waterfowl. I, I think when when uh, when it caught my attention and I and I started looking back, I think there was twenty seven different waterfowl that run that flight path. And, and, the, and as they migrate, and a lot of a lot of them settle in there for for the summer, just because of um, the beauty of the the country. The 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 aquatics are were unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, so it was wildlife wise, we, it was it was a crazy trip. Yeah, no, definitely. I, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. I'd never been out to the Sand Hills before. I lived out in Kansas for a year or two. So you know, I was kind of anticipating it being similar to Western Kansas, but it certainly had its own unique uh, characteristics. And it and it changed. I mean, you went from you went from farmland uh, a little to the west of Hyannis, and as you approached Hyannis, the sand hills just come to life. And and uh, you know, we got to we got uh, one of one of the experiences that I I, I keep reflecting back to. We jumped. We jumped in a, a side by side Ranger with Hal Schaefer and one of the videographers, Buck, and and uh, we went out onto a ranch, and you know back home here, you know a few hundred acres, six hundred acres, you're you're big time. Yeah, that's that's going a long ways around here. <laughs> <laughs> but but out there, that ranch we were on, what was it? I believe it was sixty thousand acres. You know, and and I know we we drove on the first segment. We drove out to a knoll where we had a little photo shoot with Hal, and and uh, we had already passed 
a couple thousand cattle and calves, you know, out on a free range. I mean, we went back like 60 years and it was like, it's still like this. Yeah. And we had to drive three miles into the ranch. And then Hal says, well, while we're this close, let's go check one of my, one of my cameras pull the card out of it. And we drove another three or four miles. <laughs> Certainly weren't near the end of it. <laughs> you know, so uh, what an opportunity to experience that firsthand. And, and uh, you know, we, we met so many cool people. Uh, the show, I, looking back, the show did it right. They went into that town and they made, they made friendships, relationships, um, anything from Pioneer Drilling Company, Chad and, and uh, Mark that we met. Yep. Uh, they, we had all of our product that we supplied to the project out to, shipped out to their facility because they had the equipment and, and the warehouse space to uh, offload it and, and uh, store it until the show got geared up and, and they started using material job site. And, you know, those guys were, were fantastic. Uh, everybody we met, I mean, it was their character. I mean, they were down to earth, friendly, obliging people. Oh, there's no doubt about that. And I, I think the, the one piece that stuck with me on that front was, you know, you go to the grocery store, they still let you put your groceries on a tab out there. So it tells you the type <laughs> right? of people you're working with. <laughs> yeah. 152, 160, uh, you know, however many people are in, are in the town of Hyannis, Nebraska. You just got the feeling they all have each other's back. Oh, no doubt about that. You know, uh, you have to, you have to. Uh, it's, it's small town. It had, had enough of the grocery store, the... Uh, saloon slash restaurant slash hotel, the Hyannis Hotel that a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, uh, uh, the production people and, and the makers stayed in and uh, uh, you, you felt welcomed everywhere you went. And we had a great night, we had a great night on, on Wednesday out there. Uh, all the townspeople came into town and, and uh, renovation hunters hosted uh, uh, more or less, a great little party. Had the buffet set up for the folks. And what was uh, the gal's name from Nashville? Karen Wolfer. Yep, there you go. <clears throat> you know, they brought, they brought her up from, from Nashville and performed for the local folks at, at uh, the Hyannis Hotel there and put out a nice little buffet spread. And, and uh, <clears throat> you could just see the relationship that they had built, the renovation hunters had built prior to us rolling into town. And, and uh, it was it was neat to see. It was neat to see. We we walked onto the job site, and they had eight days, I think, eight or nine days to to try and complete their project. You know the volume of material we sent out. Yeah, they got a full truckload. <laughs> <laughs> and and we walked we walked in the house, and it was like this is gonna happen by next weekend? And <laughs> what did we fly? We flew in on a Tuesday. Yeah. And, and um, they had already had their demo day and this and that. And, and it was like, wow, there's a lot of work to be done. And, and then we went back out uh, Wednesday, spent the day at, at the job site. And before we knew it, they lassoed, lassoed you into, into helping out. Yeah, yeah, a little and, bit. <laughs> they were. And, and uh, you were working with one of the makers, one of our friends, uh, partners in, in Oak Hill Millworks and Christy. And I, I uh, got roped into helping uh, Rachel run some product, some of our product on, uh, in, the, in the kitchen area. And I turn around and next thing I know, a couple of our friends... Uh, McKens and, and Joe's from Ice Energy, they're, they're rolling paint on some boards in one of the rooms. And it was like, it was like all hands on deck. It had to be. Right? And, and you even saw that from the videographers. I mean, when they weren't shooting, they were jumping in and, 
you know, whether it was a paintbrush in your hand or holding the end of a board. So, so they brought these makers from all over the United States. And uh, Kevin, uh, more or less the job site superintendent for the whole project, uh, they, 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 were like, they were like bees on honey, man. They were, they were all over it. Yeah, and that's, that was one of the more incredible things when you think about bringing in, you know, eight, ten different guys from and women from all across the country that never work together. And you don't know how those personalities and skill sets are going to complement each other. And it was pretty incredible to see them throughout the week kind of figure out who was doing what and keep the project on track. And I, I had a, a little conversation yesterday with with Kevin. He he called me up and and uh, it was kind of a debriefing. And and I know you and I spoke on on our drive back to Denver to catch our flight home and and uh, a lot of what we witnessed, Kevin witnessed and identified and and kind of by design uh, he he challenged he challenged a lot of people on that project uh, maybe a little bit outside of their boundaries yeah. But but he put the challenge out there, and and uh, you witnessed it. I witnessed it. I mean, he was, you know, he didn't always have a ball cap on. Sometimes he had a he had a fireman's hat on, <laughs> jumping from fire to fire, and you know, helping helping the makers out. Yep. You know, and uh, uh, I mean, they have some. They have uh, renovation hunters. They they brought together uh, a good group of sponsors. Uh, you know some of the uh, Metabo tool and and uh, Crescent Crescent tools and and uh, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods and everybody everybody performed. Uh, it might have been a little shaky start, but uh, a little Kevin, bit of a learning experience to get Kevin, going there. Yeah, Kevin got them reeled in. He said, "Okay, the, the learning curve is over. We got to get this done." <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, so it was crazy. You know, we put. <clears throat> We put some different products out there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna sit on some of that information until until renovation hunters start start uh, socializing a little bit, and you'll you'll see some phenomenal Baird product in that house. You know, uh, anything from ceiling walls, uh, kitchen items. Uh, one of the one of the cool offshoots going away from the house. They did a great bar shed. <laughs> oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Definitely going to have some good memories in there, you know, after coming back from the hunt and yeah. telling the stories of the day. Yeah, you know, where, where guys can guys can come in out of the weather, warm up, kick back, and just like you said, share their stories, their hunting stories of, oh, uh, you should have seen the one that Joe missed today. Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, there's plenty of that when you're out hunting. <laughs> right, right. So <clears throat> what, looking back, I mean, I know my my personal experience was uh, one of the locals asked me, well, "What do you what do you think about Nebraska and, and our little town?" And and my response was, uh, and it still is today, just the the sheer vastness of the land. Yeah, no doubt about that. You know that and and the wildlife. Uh, you know, and they. <clears throat> They're doing it right. Whether you're talking about the cattle and, and the ranches or whether you're talking about wildlife, <clears throat> they're, they're both, they're, they're managing a, a, a sustainable resource, much like we do here at Baird's. Yep. And it goes from the forest to the animals to the cattle and, and taking care of that the, those resources and and managing it in a way of harvesting, uh, whether it's a crop or whether it's it's uh, the animal population, and and taking care of the land, so the wildlife can thrive. Yeah, yeah, and that goes back to you know a lot of our practices around sustainable timber harvest here. You know, traditionally we're going in and harvesting the most mature trees which then in turn opens up that canopy, allows sunlight to get to the forest floor, which generates, you know, head level and down native browse for the deer and the turkeys and the wildlife to eat on. So I don't think they quite have the trees out there to be doing uh, timber harvest, 
but they're certainly implementing different man or wildlife management practices, you know, putting in food plots, clover to make sure they have the nutrition they need to get through the winters. It's, it's amazing. It's, it, it's a full circle. It's a full circle, whether you're in Canfield, Ohio, and, uh, we're, we're fortunate to have some phenomenal woodland plots here uh, that we didn't see out in Nebraska. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of cottonwood and cedar. That's about all we saw out <laughs> right? there for trees. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm excited, uh, having worked our way through this, this first build out, uh, this renovation with the renovation hunters. What a, what a fitting name <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for, for a group of people. Uh, from from Kevin, uh, the on-site superintendent, to uh, the makers uh, and the personalities and the skill sets, to a very interesting character, Hal Schaefer. Yep. I mean, how <clears throat> how has how how has a show already uh, on the Outdoor Channel uh, drop zone, yep. right? And besides a, a phenomenal personality that he brings, he brings with him, he brings some of the knowledge of, of, of hunting and the outdoors. And, and we got to experience, uh, you know, walking into to one of the windbreaks, which is, I don't know, you know, 10, 15 acres of, of planted cedars and and, and different conifers as a windbreak to break that wind coming across those sand dunes so the animals have a chance to get tucked in, you know, behind something and, and went in and checked one of his, his food plots. You know, you, we were talking about management, food plot, feed, you know. Uh, and you, I know you do that back here. Yeah, yeah, we do our best to try to give them what they need to continue to, to grow. Around here, we're a little more fortunate. You know, we have a lot more egg country, so it's almost done for you with all the soybean and corn fields. But, and we'll, we'll mix in a little bit of clover and turn up food plots also, depending on where we're hunting. Yeah, uh, I, I never, never in my wildest dream when, when, when we started this adventure did I think I'd be seeing prong, pronghorn on the plains of Nebraska. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a few unexpected things while we were out there. <laughs> it, it's, it really was, and, and uh, going back to the people of, of hyenas and the people uh, associated with renovation hunters, uh, every, everybody was welcoming in the sense that, <clears throat> I know we came home with a couple invites to go back. Yeah, this might not be this year, but definitely looking forward to the potential of getting out there, doing a little deer or pheasant hunting in the future. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious and anxious uh, Renovation Hunters, at Renovation Hunters, follow them on, on Instagram. Uh, and right now, they're inviting people across the United States to reach out to Renovation Hunters if they have a, a, a cabin, uh, whether it be a hunting cabin, fishing cabin, whether it be a, a, a little, little lake house or a house on the river, needs a little doctored up. Yep. They're inviting you to submit your information, your project house, and we've got two more opportunities to, to travel with these folks. Yeah, and there's no doubt about that. And I think with that, you know, it's important when you're submitting your story to make sure you're getting a little bit of the story and the history with it. So, you know, if it was a family camp growing up, share some of those memories so yeah. they get a chance to see what that story is with the hunting camp. And that'll certainly play into, you know, that project. That's, that's it. And, and, and that's what they're looking for. They're looking for that great backstory uh, it, it can be a hut, it can be a cabin, yep. uh, you know, and, and uh, it can be an outdoor project. They're, they're, they're wide open right now as far as how they're, how they're gonna pick and choose, but uh, I know we, 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 came, we came away from a gem. Yeah. Uh, I think that was one of the first home, first, one of the first three homes in, in Hyenas, 118 years old, and uh, she needed needed a little love and attention and and they gave they gave nine days worth of of elbow grease and and you know by by gosh they got her done yeah it was incredible to see the progress they made just in eight days yeah so uh friend we had fun 
Oh, we had fun. About it. We, 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 we did a lot of traveling uh, with, with, our, uh, with uh, uh, each other and, and uh, Mackenzie and Joe's. And, and then uh, we landed, uh, you know, you can call it the middle of nowhere or you can call it in the middle of God's country. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it was phenomenal, phenomenal trip. So, folks, uh, Zach and I, we're probably going to pack our bags one or two more times and, and uh, chase renovation hunters around the United States, uh, supplying some of Baird Brothers Fine Hardwood products to uh, this project in Hyannis, Nebraska, and to, uh, to be announced future pro uh, projects. But uh, until then, follow Baird Brothers on our social platforms. Jump on Instagram at Renovation Hunters. Uh, they're going to be releasing some uh, some information about this project and upcoming projects. So until next time, hang in there, guys. Have a great day. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time... 